D'Antoni? Hart is an assistant coach for the Brooklyn Nets? What do you think about this? I'm surprised to see him as an assistant. If I was a team with a head coaching vacancy, I would want him. I'm surprised he would take an assistant coaching job after all of the success he's had as a head coach. I know he faces a lot of scrutiny. I know Stephen A. loves getting on him. People love getting on him for not coaching defense. But at the end of the day, he's been a winning head coach in most places he went. There's flaws in his in his game in his coaching, without a doubt, without a doubt about it. You need him to have the right uh, system, the right players. He has a system that players need to fit into. He doesn't have, he doesn't uh, fit his system to the players. That's his issue. But if you can have a team with a dominant player and good role players around him, he, he has a system that is going to get you far. He's going to win you a lot of games. And I don't think that it can't win a championship. I think if James Harden performed in the clutch, they would have won a championship in the with the, in Houston. And that was a team that didn't have the talent to go as far as it did. So I think it's a good hire. I'm just surprised Mike D'Antoni is taking an assistant coaching job. I think he's just um, he just likes Steve Nash. He just feels like it's the right thing to do to go be a coach with him and just wants to help him out on his debut. But I think he, he could wait and definitely get a head coaching job. I'm sure many teams would want to have him. For the Nets, though, it's a good hire. I like... I think that they have a good situation going there with coaching. They're looking more and more scary because now they have a team of Steve Nash as the head coach, a guy that KD likes. Kyrie isn't going to like anybody, I guess, because he said that they don't need a coach. So I guess nothing's going to please him as a coach. He's just going to do his own quirky thing. But Steve Nash will at least be able to relate to him on a point guard level, I'm assuming. And now they have Amari as another player that, you know, guys like KD, they like being coached by former players. They always talk about how they want former players, so now they have that. And now they have a guy that can put them in a position to be up, be successful. And these are star players that are good with the ball in their hands, which is what you need in a D'Antoni system. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of pick and pop, pick and roll with KD and Kyrie. You know, kind of like Amari and Steve Nash, but not really. I know they're going to know that they're not the same players, that KD's not Amari Stoudemire. That he's much more skilled and less of a physical presence. But at the same time, I'm sure they're going to use his length and his size in the pick and rolls and pick and pops. And I think it's going to be the majority of the ball in their hands. I think Steve Nash is going to know the importance of getting other guys involved because that's what he is as a point guard. He doesn't dribble, dribble, dribble. He just likes dishing off to other guys and setting them up. So I think it's going to be less. It's not going to be Houston where Kyrie holds the ball the whole time and KD holds the ball like James Harden and Russell Westbrook. But it'll be like two-thirds of that. And even that's going to be a lot. So it's going to be interesting for guys like Spencer Dinwiddie and Karis LeVert, whether they're going to fit or whether they're going to get moved on for like more 3 and D guys because they have a lot of guys that like the ball in their hands and they play best with the ball in their hands. Karis LeVert isn't much of an off-ball shooter, catch-and-shoot guy. He can shoot, he can catch shoot threes, but he likes isoing, hitting the middies. That's kind of his game. Spencer Dinwiddie is a versatile player at this point. He's long point guard. He can do a lot of things, but he's a point guard at the end of the day, and he's he's a ball handler, and he's a guy that likes the ball in his hands, and he can go off when he does. So they might look to trade one of those guys. Karis LeVert, as much as KD it seems likes him, and I think Kyrie's praised him too, I think they might move on from him because he'll probably have some value, and I don't know if he'll fit into the system. Well, is Mike D'Antoni there? It'll be interesting to see what happens. I think... They just went. They just got a little bit more, um, a little bit more of a threat in the East because before there was just players coaching unexperienced, inexperienced guys, and now you have the reliability of a Steve Nash and Mari Stoudemire, the former players that guys like Katie will like. But now you have a guy with experience as a head coach that's not going to let things fall apart. That's going to have experience, know what to do in, in many situations. That Steve Nash hasn't been in that seat, so Mike D'Antoni is going to be leaned on a lot, and that makes them more of a threat. The Nets right now, I don't know where I would have them. I have them about, they have as good of a chance to win the East as anybody. Honestly, they should be the favorite. It should be them, slightly after Bucks, slightly after Heat. And maybe, they're all, it's like Nets and then Bucks and then maybe Heat, if I'm being honest. I'm a Bucks fan. But the Nets should be slightly the favorite right now because if KD comes. If Kevin Durant in the East, because if Kevin Durant comes back anything like he was before, which I think he will, I think Kevin Durant 
isn't relying on his athleticism so much. He's a huge, a very tall guy, he's almost seven feet, can shoot, can post. He's got all the skills. He's going to be able to defend. And Kyrie, as much as I don't like him, he's very skilled. So I, th- I think if he has a guy like a Kevin Durant or a LeBron, like that top-level guy to go with, I think he could be successful. So I think they've got to be the slight favorite, the slightest, slightest favorites. It can move around with the Bucks and the Heat. But that's my lookout for the East now. They just got – I had them before. It was probably like the Bucks and then the Nets and Heat. And this just moves it up to slightly. Just having that experience at coaching gets rid of the some of the chance that I think it might have had for just falling apart with Kyrie, new coach, and Steve Nash, never really been a coach at all. Mari Stoudemire, never been a coach. The chances of it falling apart just went down a lot because they have an experienced guy there. Steady hand, so to speak. Like, subscribe, let me know what y'all think about this move. Yes, sir.